My name is uh, Anthony Perry, and uh, I was appointed director of the newly formed North Kensington Amenity Trust in 1971. Yes, I tried to get uh, NATO people like Harold Wilson when he was Prime Minister interested in the scheme. And uh, this is a picture of me, uh, the man in the middle there. What would make a good community development organisation? And the simple answer is the interest of the local community. In the simplest terms, it was to make the land available, 23 acres of prime land, to make it available for some sort of community use. And it was an original idea. So no one has had the idea of using it as a community asset. And alas, uh, it's really just a shopkeeper's asset now. If we'd created Portobello Square uh, as a centre for North Kensington, it could have worked because the Westway Theatre was a huge success. So something like that as a focal point, the square, Westway Theatre, offices, council offices, uh, old people's canteen, you could have created something central and which people felt belonged to them. The council and the police and everybody else canned the idea of Portobello Square where people could meet and do things. We had wonderful things. We had pop concerts there. We had community bonfires. Did a million things on it as Portobello Square. And it was crushed the moment I left. Acklam Hall, a first community hall adjacent to Goldbourne. And we built Maxilla Hall. So that was another one. We put down the second AstroTurf pitch in uh, Britain and so on. So we got a lot of things going, things that could blossom. A major responsibility if I was to be a community organisation, to have a relationship with the black community. And it was a great sadness to me that the black and white community had absolutely no interconnection. So uh, yes, I did do quite a bit and did eventually help get Notting Hill Carnival going. And a guy called Leslie Palmer came on the scene at a public meeting I held. I gave him an office. I gave him a telephone. And he could actually say, this is an amenity trust event. So as a result, he could hire equipment and things like this. North Kensington had a clear identity and you could have done wonders. I don't believe that the Westway Trust has any interest at all in community development. Well, I don't think they've been actively hostile to community, to the community they're in, of course. So, so I don't have anything hostile to say in that respect. It's quite difficult. I mean, it's very, it's not only quite difficult, it is very, very, very difficult to get a community to think in terms of its own destiny. Uh, I'd love to send a cheering message and three cheers for them all. But I think you're now probably up against a fairly tough wall. Westway is now run to balance its books, which means that it's going to be primarily a commercial enterprise. They should allocate something and they should have some local people represented firmly on their committee and uh, respect their difficulties that they have to balance their books but equally bully them as much as you feel able to go back not to what we hoped for at the beginning that will never happen but at any rate to go back to something that could be an intermediate position.